meteorologist Sarah Gannon. Well, hopefully you were able to soak up some of that great sunshine. It was absolutely beautiful outside today and dare I say a little bit spring like out there with those temperatures and that sunshine. Our highs today climbing and staying above average. We topped off into the 40s here across southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa. Nowhere record breaking. Our record high for today's date is actually 54 degrees. So we were 10 degrees shy of the record, but still uh, notice though our averages this time of the year is 26 degrees. So well above average, nearing about uh, 18 degrees above average for the Rochester area. Area wide though, mid to upper 40s were a common sight. 47 for that high today down in Mason City. 45 in Albert Lee and Austin, even Winona and Red Wing, 46 in Decorah and Charles City. This evening, we're continuing on with those clear, quiet skies as we look outside from your Lewis Nottle live at camera. We are currently sitting at 34 degrees here in Rochester. Winds have died down just a little bit now here this evening out of the northwest, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So that's impacting our feel like temp, about 27. Not too bad, though. It's still a very mild evening. Area wide, those temperatures are hovering into the mid 30s for the area, 36 in Preston, 35 in Mason City, 37 in Austin, Albert Lee, Charles City, and Cresco. So a quiet night. We still have those clear skies overhead as we check in with your future track radar. We're expecting to stay mainly clear here for tonight. I, I maybe we maybe could see a couple of clouds filtering in during the overnight hours, but otherwise we're sitting pretty quiet here for the next couple of days. High pressure continues to dominate the upper Midwest. That frontal boundary sinking and staying just to our south. Other than that, we're looking quiet here for the next couple of days. Things, though, looking to become a bit more active for the midweek. So aside from clear skies here for tonight, looking to see those mild temperatures stay with until about the end of the week. Late week, though, looking to see a bit of a shakeup with our temperatures cooling back to more seasonal values. Precipitation, we are watching pretty closely late Wednesday night into Thursday, tracking the chance for some snow, even maybe some mixing possible. But I do want to touch quickly on our snowfall statistics for the month of February. So far, we have not picked up any snowfall during the month of February. We're down by about 24 and a half inches of snowfall so far this season, and we've only picked up just shy of 10 inches here in the Rochester area. So well below average in terms of snowfall for the month. But we could maybe be making a dent into that snowfall deficit here in the next couple of days. Notice late Wednesday night into early Thursday, looking at that potential for that next weather maker. Could see a little bit of mixing as temperatures uh, drop just below that freezing mark and kind of hover there for a little bit, but looking to see maybe a few snowflakes as we head towards Thursday morning. Timing things out, things look pretty quiet here for the remainder of tonight. A couple clouds looking to filter in on and off throughout the day on Tuesday. Overall, a very mild day, very similar to today, maybe just a couple more clouds. Heading into Wednesday, then cloud cover looking to be a bit more abundant throughout the day. If you have plans during the daytime hours, you should be just fine. It'll be later in the day on Wednesday that we look to bring in that next weather system. Future track maybe bringing this in just a little bit earlier than what I'm anticipating. I think this will arrive again after the evening commute. So when we look at some of our long range models and kind of look to see where that snowfall potential could align, and this is roughly for about an inch or so, but we look to see southeast Minnesota maybe that better opportunity for some potential accumulating snowfall. So we're going to watch this system here the next couple of days, but models certainly in more agreement today about accumulating snowfall than what it was over the weekend. So some good news for snow lovers. Tonight we'll look to see temperatures back into the upper 20s, or I should say mid 20s here for the area. Light winds looking to be beautiful for your Tuesday. Partly sunny skies there, anticipating to see some light winds and temps into the mid to upper 30s, couple of 40s, and then we'll look to shake things up just a tiny bit as we head towards Wednesday night and Thursday. Notice our temperature drop though by Friday, looking at 20s back in the area through about uh, Saturday. It's been a little while since we have 20s and that's actually seasonal for us here this time of the year. We should be about 26, 27 degrees. And said we've been hanging out in the 30s and 40s here the last few days. Yeah, I was talking to someone earlier, and the, the weather is so confusing. I mean, you're like, <laughs> yeah. what what time of year is this? And is I winter, know. as in my case earlier in this newscast, what day is it, too? I know. I was thinking it was Friday for some reason. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice? Maybe subconsciously I wished it was Friday. I don't know. Makes but, me a little curious to, be what, to know what could be coming down the pipeline here yeah, for the second half of winter. So. All right. Thank you, Sarah.